Hello guys and welcome to a new GTK tutorial. It is time now to move on to a new GTK widget. Uh, today we are going to learn a new container which is uh, quite interesting and uh, its name is GTK Revealer. Uh, this container basically says hide and show with animation. Basically its description says something like the container uh, this widget is a container which animates the transition of its child from invisible to visible to style uh, the style of transition can be controlled with this function wherever and this transition respects of course the gtk enable animation settings whatever css node says it has uh, a node with the name revealer and this name was introduced uh, first in gtk's uh, 3.10 in other words uh, what's the story with this re revealer uh, because as you can see we have no picture here uh, let me show you a demo program which we are going to uh, create it uh, this is an application which uses GTK revealer uh, once that I'm going to click this button show entry it will reveal our entry and watch how it's working you see it's coming and going back the way how you need to to um, show this um, um, child which you're hiding it basically it is uh, a matter of what kind of uh, transition type you are um, you are setting and so on but for this we are going to talk uh, uh, when we are coming there anyway this is the GTK reveal uh, which we are going to use today that being said, let uh, let us check how it's working. Let me close the terminal because we don't need it anymore. And let us uh, check the first function, which is of course a new function, GTK re Revealer new, which says creates a new GTK Revealer. Okay, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to declare, of course, our Revealer. Here we have uh, the traditional uh, program, which we use, which is a window with a grid inside it nothing special so at this point we have only a plain window now we can declare our gtk widget revealer now we can call it so um, I'll let it revealer and we're going to point it to gtk revealer new it takes nothing once that we have it of course uh, the next thing which we need to do it is to attach it to our to our um, grid so i'm going to do it right now gtk uh, i'm going to use instead uh, gtk uh, grid attach gtk grid our grid because it goes inside there and of course we have zero left zero top one width and one height now let us compile it and run it the way it is and see what happens if we see something uh, which uh, we yes of course I forgot the child I forgot the revealer to put it inside the grid now let us compile it and run and see what happens and as you can see we have nothing of course we have nothing because it is a container the way you don't see the grid is the same way uh, you don't see the reveal as well because it is also a container for this we need to make some changes so I'm going to create a button together with an entry so GTK widget button and of course the GTK widget entry uh, at this point you surely know about uh, uh, what the window is if not go to uh, my gtk playlist window grid as well uh, check the button playlist and of course the entry playlist as well you should already be familiar with these things before uh, you watch this video so i'm not going to um, explain you what i'm doing here because you sh you should already know about uh, these uh, things so the button we are going to point it to gtk button new with label and uh, I'm going to say click click me for a second and of course the GTK uh, sorry the entry entry 
which we are going also to point it to GTK entry GTK entry new and once that we have them both uh, created the way we will uh, need to have them I'm going to uh, put them inside uh, inside of the um, grid and the reveal reveal uh, sorry so for this we are going to make some changes I'm going to to make those changes a little bit different now which means uh, I'm going to remove the revealer right now because it will work different I'm going to put a button first and of course one that we have the button we have the revealer as well as the second which is the top one uh, now we can uh, basically uh, put the entry inside our re revealer so for this we need of course the gtk container add gtk container because it is a container I already said the revealer is a container okay so we are going to put the uh, entry inside our revealer and once that we have it uh, let us check now and see what happens but before let us uh, check again the program flow we have a window we have a grid we have a revealer basically the revealer inside the grid and the grid inside the window and then uh, we create a button and an entry entry together with the revealer are childs for our grid and the entry it is the child for the revealer in this case and the program now looks like this let me compile this and you will see uh, we have a button i'm going to click on it and of course we see nothing now but at least it's the button there we have no errors and we are not revealing our child the way how maybe you want to have it for this we are, we are going to make some changes so i'm going to go back up here where let me say create uh, the revealer and here we are going to connect uh, the, we are going to call the g signal connect on the button with the click head of course a signal and the g callback function which we are going to use now it will be let's say click head callback and we are going to pass now the revealer as the last argument of the g signal connect and now we need to create this callback what what do we need we need to create a callback function which once that it will be created when we click the button it should call this function and uh, when this this function will be called it will reveal our child this is the purpose of our um, uh, function which we are going to create it right now okay for this let us um, make some changes okay so void click a callback and let's say we need a button for gtk button and of course i'm going to declare this time the g pointer data data even if uh, you are used that we declare directly the pointer we use this time i'm going to make it different and i'm going to say g return if fail and here of course we are going to pass gtk is button so if it's not if it's something else than a button then it should not go now gtk revealer we need to declare it and once that we have it we can point it to our pointer data and now we can basically do some new things here which kind of things do we need we can say um, let, let us go back and see, check the functions we have the gtk reveal get reveal child and set reveal child and of course we have uh, transition duration and so so on all these things we are going to check them uh, both in uh, second let's see the first function it says it's a g boolean function which takes a child uh, which takes an argument of uh, gtk revealer and says return whatever the child is created or released see the gtk revealer said reveal child so this function returns true as soon as the transition is to the reveal state is started 
So to learn uh, whether the child is fully revealed, here, for example, the transition is complete and just use the will get child revealed. Okay, so basically I'm going to call this function in an if statement, if, and here we are going to, of course, we are going to pass our revealer. Hmm, I did some wrong here. And we are going to say if uh, GTK will get revealed child is equal to false, or you can use the not operator, whatever. Then you are going to say uh, GTK, and now we need another function. The next one, which is the GTK will set re reveal child. So basically says, uh, tells the GTK reveal to reveal or conceal its child so the transition will be animated with the current transition type of revealer okay so basically we said if the gtk revealer get revealed child it's equal to false false which it is now we are going to uh, set it to true so the first is the revealer and of course the setting which we need uh, now let us um, say else, which means if is already revealed, because this is very important for us, then we are going to say GTK uh, reveal set reveal child, of course, to false. Now, what do what uh, what does this callback function right now? Right here, it says it we created a um, callback function which check if our button it is there. I could use a swap function and drop the button, but uh, I don't do it right now. I'm I'm going to let it the way it is. You will see why. And I said if the GTK will get revealed child, so uh, it is equal to false, then we call the set reveal child to set it to true. If it is not equal to false, which means it is revealed, then it should be hidden. That being said, I'm going to compile it the way it is and see what happens. As you can see, the child is right here, so you can call it and hide it and works fine the way how you want to. Uh, now I don't know which kind of things you want to create and how you want to reveal uh, your child's me. I choose to use a button and to connect to the signal, uh, the clicker signal button to reveal it. And as uh, the, um, the child, uh, which is will be going, to, it's going to be revealed. It is uh, an entry um, which I choose for this video. You can use whatever which one you want to. It's not important. Important is that is uh, uh, going to do the things which you want to do. That being said, it's enough for this video. Until next video, thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please subscribe, share with your friends and neighbors. And until next time, see you guys.